Welcome to the Home for Innovation. You know, there's a saying that says, if you're not meaningfully unique, you better be cheap. And today I want to introduce you to a book, Innovation Economics, written by Robert D. Atkinson and Stephen J. Ezell. And this book does one of the best jobs I've seen at explaining to what's really happened to our country. The recent uh, recession that we've been through is not really a recession of credit and financial institutions. That's a symptom of the problem. These guys suggest, and I believe they're correct, that we quit innovating and we quit manufacturing. So we put ourselves at strategic and economic risk because we quit innovating. Now I want to change subjects or change direction on you a little bit and talk about the recent problems we've had with Hurricane Sandy. This thing has made a mess in the Northeast. It has overnight bounced us back almost to a third world country. There's people sitting in line waiting for gasoline. We find out that there's a lot of things we can't do that we take for granted for when we don't have electricity. You can't pump gas, you can't get money out of the ATM, and so forth and so on. But you know what? There are already many solutions for this, innovative solutions that could protect against some of the problems we're dealing with here. Solar panels layered all over the gas station roof. This could provide energy for powering the gas pumps in times like this. My own company's been working on basically a solar generator. These things are mobile. We could be towing those into New York today, powering up everything from hair dryers to cell phones to cell towers. These are the kinds of innovations that not only protect our people and, and the capital that we have invested in in New York and places like it, but it protects the strategic value of the United States long term. So number one, I want you to check out this book and I want you to read what really happened to the United States in this recent downturn. And number two, you need to get on board with innovation. This is not something that's just for small companies or big companies. This is something that's for all of us. All of us need to be supporting innovation, and we need to be doing it all the time. It is the gateway to long-term success. If we're not meaningfully unique, then we better be cheap, and we are not cheap. So we've got to be meaningfully unique. See you here next time on The Home for Innovation.